Hello everyone. My name is Pratik and I'm a freelance colorist based in India. This is the 5th episode in a series of tutorials called Upgrade where I share color grading techniques and workflows I have found useful and I hope you'll find them useful too. Today's topic will be a brief overview of the color grading workflow usually followed for VFX shots. A lot of colorists when starting out wonder whether color grading is done before or after VFX. The short answer to that question is color grading is done after VFX. However, this might change depending on the project, the workflow preferred by the VFX team, and the type of VFX involved in the project. Therefore, it is always advisable to discuss early on with everyone involved in post production the workflow which will be followed. If you are working with raw footage, you will have to tell everyone involved the DBA parameters you prefer working with. This will help prevent any problems that might arise during the grading stage. I have a shot here in my timeline and let's say this shot will need to be sent for VFX work. This is a red raw file and I have debayered it in red white gamut log 3G10. The first thing you'll need to do is disable any color correction applied on the shot. Then go to the deliver page and switch to the individual clips mode. The VFX artist will tell you the format they would like you to share the clip in. Most times they'll ask for an EXR or TIFF or DPX sequence or a ProRes export. I am going to demonstrate the workflow using EXR, but the process will be similar for other codecs. VFX artists will prefer if the clip is shared in its native resolution, so you can turn on render at source resolution in the deliver page. If you scroll down, you will see an option to enable flat pass. What this is essentially doing is disabling all the color correction applied on the clip. It is preferred to share the clips with frame handles to the VFX artist so that you can make some changes to the edit if needed without having to bother the VFX team for a new render. If you would like to learn more about frame handles, I would recommend checking out my frame handles for colorist tutorial. I am going to enter 10 frame handles here. You can also choose to place each clip in a separate folder so that you can stay organized. Now that we have everything set up, we can click on render. You can save this as a preset so that you can use it easily whenever you need to share renders with VFX artists. After this, the next step will be to generate a preview LUT for the VFX team. If you have a show LUT for the project, you can share it with them. If not, you can export a LUT inside Resolve. VFX artists will use this LUT to preview how their VFX holds up with the grade and match different elements accordingly. Note, this LUT only needs to include broad adjustments and the overall look. Using qualifiers or selective adjustments is not recommended when exporting a LUT. Now that we have everything ready, we can share it with the VFX team. I would like to thank my friend Anil Ramnath who has helped me with the VFX for this tutorial. When you receive the rendered files back from the VFX artist, there are two possibilities. The VFX artist may either share the clip back in the camera native space which is red white gamut log 3G10 in this case or they might share it in linear. If the clip is in the camera color space, you can directly import it into the timeline and grade it like a normal shot. But if it is in linear, you will have to apply an input transform from linear back to your camera color space or working color space. If you are grading in a color managed project, you can right click on the clip and set up the input color space easily. If not, you can use a CST or LUT or ACES transform to do the same thing. Sometimes, the VFX artist might provide you with mats which you can import into the node graph and grade different elements selectively. I hope this video gave you an idea about the workflow generally used for projects with VFX. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll try my best to help you. If you have any requests for other tutorials, feel free to drop them below.